Well, some days it doesn't pay to pursue your hobby. Some days your hobby can turn on you. If your hobby tries to hit you, hit it back. That's what I always say. Shirley Drew. Oh, hi. Hi, Shirley. What are you doing? No, I don't want to talk about it, Shirley. But what are you doing? You haven't changed, have you? How's your back? It hurts. My back hurts. Mm-hmm. Banging away at that thing ain't gonna help any. You know that. Come on, let's sit down. Hey, you want a beer or something? No, thanks. You go on and have one. I'm OK. You live in a hospital bed with a bullet in your bag for months at a time. You tend to get less agreeable. But that didn't seem to bother Shirley. She'd just give you a pill, or she'd give you some advice, or she'd give you a smile, and somehow it would help to make things matter. We were going to keep in touch. Well, I've been pretty busy at the hospital. You know how that is. Yeah, outside of that, how you been? Things have been OK. Things haven't been OK. Where do I start? You remember my son? Little skinny kid. James. He used to hang around the hospital a lot. Didn't he want to be a doctor when he grew up? He didn't quite make it. What happened? The cops just picked him up two hours ago for murder. Yes, ma'am. Would you repeat that? Man. Who's got the Drew case? He does. Over here, Harry. What do you got, Earl? Besides a headache? His mother is my client. Well, I hope you collected your fee. I can almost tie a ribbon on this one. Your client's kid admitted he was in this building with a Mr. O.Z. Williams. Oh, see. Not one of our leading citizens. The kid must have flipped out. He put two shots into O.Z. up close. You got the gun? 45 automatic, unregistered. The kid must have panicked and dropped it. We also got five witnesses who saw him running out of the building. We picked him up later in the theater down the street. What do you say? What they all say. All right, Harry. Hello, Maddox. What are you doing here? I have a client. Who? Mrs. Drew does not think her son pulled the trigger. You let her think what she wants. I just don't want you around messing things up. How can I mess it up, man? It's an open and shut case. Let's keep it that way. Can I see the kid? No. I mean it. Back off. It didn't make much sense for Manny to be that uptight. Unless it was something he knew about this case that I didn't. The building was like any other in the ghetto, a structure of rotting wood and crumbling brick and broken lives. Somehow, murder didn't seem out of place.
Hey, could you help me with this door? Yeah. Did you find what you were looking for? You know, I was looking for something. I could tell. Hey, you want the lights on? What difference does it make? You live here alone? I live with my sister. Where is she? Working. You gonna be all right here alone? Sure. I don't think so. I only come to live here a few months ago. Why don't you leave me alone? What time does your sister get off work? When the last John goes home. I told you she works. She's a hustler, understand? All right, what's her name? Where can I reach her? Why, are you a customer? Yeah, I'm a customer. Jenny Adams, 853-4262. It's a bar. You know, it sound like a John. Yeah, I'm a private detective. My name's Harry Orwell. You're white, aren't you? How'd you know that? The way you talk. How'd you hurt your back? It's the way you walk. You're Jenny's brother? Why do you want to know? Well, I'm a friend of hers. I know her. Yeah? How? I used to be a cop. That figures. You know a James Drew? I heard of him. That all? He took me to a ball game once. You know they arrested him? James didn't kill that dude. Yeah, how do you know that? Because of what I heard in the hall. What'd you hear? Him and some other dude arguing about something. What were they arguing about? I don't know. I heard James tell the dude to leave. When he started to go, I heard this funny sound. Sound? Kind of like a squeak. Door? No, something else. And then? Willie McCovey hit a home run with two men on. What? I heard it on the radio down the hall. It was right before I heard the shots. Two of them. Then a lady screamed, and the baby started crying. Miss Janice is the only lady on the floor with the new baby. What up? James ran away. James ran away. Anything else? That's it? Except everybody started running down the hall. I heard Mr. Hopkins tell somebody to call the police. Who's he? He's the manager. Is what I told you going to help James? I don't know. Are you going to help him? Well, I'm going to try. Do you really know my sister, really? Yeah, I know her. Ask her. Yeah, how'd you swing it with Manny? I got to a soft spot. It's called a writ. You mean you really got one? I don't really get one. I threatened to get one. Well, he's all yours. Good luck. Hi. Who are you? Uh, my name is Harry Orwell. You say that like it ought to mean something to me. Well, we met a few times some years ago. Don't mean a thing. I was a patient of your mother's. So? Well, now I'm a private detective. She asked me to come in and see if I could help you. Why you? What does that mean? You, man. You're white. You're black. Come on, what do you want? To kill O.Z. Williams? Yeah. I blew him away. Not according to your statement. Well, what do you want me to say, that I did it? No, convince me you didn't. Tell me what you were doing in the building. I went there to meet O.Z. Why? Oh, uh, he wanted to get a few things squared away. A couple of years ago, that dude fingered me. For what? Breaking and entering. Now, he gets a $20 bill from some funky cop, and I get six months in a juvenile farm. That's a motive for killing him. Sounds to me like you've been rapping to that lieutenant. Give me your version. Man, I don't know what happened. Can't you dig that? Now, I'm standing there talking to the dude. The next thing I know, he gets blown away. That's all you know. You didn't hear the shots. Don't know where they came from. Don't know anything. I don't know a thing. I don't know a thing. I only came in here because your mother asked me to. So why don't you just get up and get out? You got it. Hey, P. 
Pete, run this through R&I. You better routine it out through our pawn shop detail, too. Odds are against that stuff being fenced locally, but check it out anyway. Harry? Right. Satisfied? Wasn't your client's son sweet and lovable as expected? Manny, his mother did not hire me to teach him how to win friends and influence people. She hired me to find out if he was guilty or not. That is my job, Frank. You enjoy your work, Manny. What's that supposed to mean? You're only doing half your job. Go on. The kid may be innocent. I told you before, Harry. Stay out of this one. You know, up until a minute ago, I just might have... Three coffees, uh, two black, one white, and I want a lot of sugar in mine. It's all here. It's about time. Maybe what happened to OZ should come up. Listen, we don't talk about OZ from here on out. We don't say anything to anybody about him. You got it? Huh? Can you dig it? I don't want nothing about it. Come on with the toes. Tolo. <laughs> Love it! That's all right. James Drew didn't exactly inspire faith in his innocence. But then why should he try? I got a few chips on my shoulder, too. Now someone has to break the ice. Right before I heard the shots, two of them. Then a lady screamed. The baby started crying. Miss Janice is the only lady on the floor with the new baby. I heard James tell the dude to leave. When he started to go, I heard this funny sound, kind of like a squeak. Willie McCovey hit a home run with two men on. I heard her on the radio down the hall. Hi, you back on the feet again? No, no, I'm retired. <laughs> <laughs> now that's what I call a smart cop. <laughs> hey, you, you looking for me? No, not necessarily. But Garfield says she was by. Uh huh. Yeah. He told me what he heard out here in the hall. Hey, he gets things mixed up, you know, not seeing and well, don't believe everything he thinks. What happened out here in the hall yesterday? Okay. Okay. Why are you smiling? I just got a picture of you trying to raise a teenage kid. Well, don't knock it, Harry. I mean, it may not be the best way in the world to raise a boy, but it'd do one thing for me. I'm off the set. Good for you. <laughs> well, I, I gotta go. Yeah, where are you going? Some things don't change, Harry. And I gotta earn a living. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Jenny. Thanks. Yeah? Can I talk to you a minute? You from the welfare? No, I'm a private detective. What you want? The key to room 2E. 2E? What for? Well, maybe I want to rent it.
teaser. Our tricks. Fine. Listen, I hear that you've been you've been turning them, and you don't let anybody know that you've been turning them. Is that right? Is that right? I need some money, teaser. But sweetheart, we pay you money to buy all of these nice things. I give you a lot of money. But, but I mean extra. I mean, I got bills and they, they piling up and I got a problem. You better know you got a problem. Hey, T. What? Telephone first. Well, tell him to wait. I, I come down off the stuff, teaser. Honest. Do you have any single idea what it means if all of my girls start holding out on me? I'd be out of business. And all the people that work for me would be out of business. Do you understand that? Now get this turkey out of here. Let's go, Jenny. Get out of here! Jesus, please! Oh, oh, please! Hey, Taser! What? Teaser, there's some honky looking around in room 2E. All right, here's what you do. Try to stall him and I'll be right there, you understand? Thank you. Hi, Benji. Hello, Harry. How are you? Fine. Fine. Ever since you run out that dude that tried to break you in the back door, you know, ain't nobody tried to rip me off in over six months. Some kind of wreck. It's because of Gonzalez. Gonzalez? Mm-hmm. 
Hey, Benji. When's the last time you saw O.Z. Williams? So we finally get to where it's at. Who set him up? You said he was set up. I did. You ought to know you used to work down here. Teaser struck. Well, you said that. I didn't. Why O.Z.? When you work both sides of the street, Harry, it happens. Thanks, Benji. Harry? If O.Z. was set up, and I didn't say he was, it's heavy, man. Take care of yourself, man. Say, cool, what's been happening? All right. Harry, get in the car. Hey, hey, none of that. Hey, Harry, this is a pretty tough neighborhood. It's grown even tougher since you were down here. And all I'm trying to do is just to, to help you out a little bit, you know what I mean? Yeah, thanks, Teaser. I'll take the bus. Now, you see, that's just what I mean. A cat like you ain't got no business taking no bus, not when I got this big sheen here. Come on, get in the car. Get in the car, Harry. Do like the man says. What's going on? Are we just trying to be brotherly, brother? Just trying to give this dude some help. You got anything to say, Harry? Yeah, give me a lift downtown, will you? That's it? That's it. Sure. Hey, Harry. Be cool, because I'm going to talk to you later. Can you dig it? Bed. Alive, just barely. Looks like somebody really worked her over. Did you call? Say your mom. You understand English? Usted fue el que hizo la llamada a la policía. No sabes cómo pasó esto. No dices a nadie, a ningún carro, nada. Hey, Manny? Yeah. The driver's license. Jenny Adams. Yeah, she's one of Teaser Strock's girls. How do we nail him, Earl? Come on, Manny. 2,000 arrests, no convictions. We'll never touch him. Maybe we can't touch him, but we sure as hell can talk to him. Come on. Charlie, this is Unit 29. Go ahead, Unit 29. Suspect Cadillac just passed us in 2200 block Carson Street, headed west. 
California license 258 George Paul Paul. Got it, 29. We're practically there. You guys stay back. We'll handle it. Will do. 10 4. <laughs> Spread them out. Hope you got a charge, man. On the Come on, move. Come on, move. Resist, Sully. Push the button. I'll come down on you so fast it'll burn your natural. Yeah, you got it, Danny. Sully. Cool it. Hey, Peter. Where you been the last couple of hours? You better make it good, because I'm going to check it out. Uh, see, I was playing cards with Lieutenant Jen. You ever hear me? Say, you didn't uh, happen to see or speak to uh, Ginny Adams? Who? Oh. Adams! Ginny Adams! Ginny Adams, Ginny Adams. Nope, never heard of her. Say, did any of you cats ever, ever hear of some chick by the name of, um, with, with uh, Ginny Adams? Never heard of her. A clean, Lieutenant. What did Ginny do to you, Teaser? She, uh, score behind your back? You were forced to make an example of her, sir. You know, I don't have the slightest idea what you're talking Think! About. And talk to my lawyer, I pay him nothing. Now, since you don't have a charge, I presume we're free to go. You're free to go. To hell. <laughs> Ciao, bro. I thought I told you to split. I'm not happy about being here. Now, tell me again about your meeting with O.Z. Who set it up? Like I told you before, O.Z. did. Could it have been someone else? Maybe. I, I don't know. O.Z. seemed nervous? Man, O.Z. was always nervous. More nervous than usual? Maybe. Teaser struck. How about teaser struck? Could he have set it up? Teaser? Man, you think you can lay this on Teaser? He's not my problem. You are. Man, they've been trying to bust Teaser for years, and they haven't even come close. Big hero. Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> well, what's wrong? You don't think so? I don't think so. Where's Manny? He just called in. He'll be here in a minute. Uh, Shirley Drew, please. Thank you. Hello. Uh, Shirley, this is Harry. Harry. Did you find out anything yet? Yeah, I found out there were a few things you didn't tell me about him. Look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want it to be like that. I wanted him to finish school. I wanted him to go to college. That's what I've been working for. That's what I've been saving for. And now with this... Well, don't give up yet. What are you trying to tell me? I'm telling you he may be in the clear. Thank me, not yet. I can't prove it. Harry, they've invented the payphone outside. I'll show you I'll get back to you. Go easy. It's on a short fuse. 
Maybe I didn't make myself clear before, but I wanted you to sit this one out, Henry. I have obligations. And I had a reason for asking you to watch from the sidelines. Now, if you don't mind, Harry, I'm very busy today. Thank you. I don't wish to interfere with the workings of the department, Good. but suppose the kid is innocent. All right, Harry, all right. You got a promise? Third person hanging around when O.Z. got dumped. There was no evidence of that. There were two shots fired. Both on target, both from the gun we picked up. So once the gun was placed there, what about the shell casings? We found one in the hallway. What about the other one? Who knows? Forensic couldn't locate it. I mean, it could have been kicked around. Somebody could have picked it up before we got there. It happens, all right? I found it. Yeah. Found it in that room nobody's supposed to be living in. The room down at the end of the hall, the one that's about 20 feet from where Ozzy got dumped. Go ahead. I think somebody knew about the meeting between O.Z. and the kid. So they set O.Z. up. They know the kid will go down with the right credentials, the motive, opportunity. So if somebody hits O.Z. from the room, figuring the kid's gonna panic and get the hell out of there, who? Teaser struck. He thought O.Z. was gonna blow the whistle on him, so he got rid of him. All right, Harry. No. Now I'll tell you why I wanted you to stay out of it. Suppose I never made the kid out as the killer. Well, you're holding him. Because I had to play along, hoping Teaser would buy it, make a mistake somewhere along the line. You jump in, you make waves. Well, maybe I can't help myself. Don't you do anything until you clear with me first, here? You know I wouldn't, Manny. Harry. You used to know uh, Jenny Adams, wasn't she one of your street connections? Well, what about it? She's critical of County General. Somebody had a job done on her. Somebody like Teaser Strzok. Some? Can't. I kicked it once. Somebody knew you talked to me. Somebody saw me leave your place. No, it wasn't that. It was a teaser. Black is beautiful. <laughs> well, this ain't beautiful, lady. The lieutenant knows we were friends. Yeah. Did he send you, Harry? No. Just wanted to see you. Oh. Thanks. Harry. Remember how it used to be? Before I got started on the junk, it wasn't all bad. No, it wasn't all bad, no. One thing for sure, though, I did go off the stuff, and, and that's something. That's something. No. <coughs> I'm so tired. Do me a favor. Sure. Tell my brother I'm going to be all right, even if I'm not. Sure. Thank you. 
Hey. Hey, you uh, looking for Lieutenant Quinlan? Yeah. Uh, over by the teletype. Hi, Manny. Hi, Harry. I went by the hospital to see Jenny Adams. She asked me to tell her brother she was all right, but she's not all right, Manny. I know. I was there when they found her in the junkyard. I'm sorry. What are you going to do about Teaser Strzok? I told you, Harry. Wait. In the meantime, push your buttons, shuffle your paper. Come on, Harry, you've been here before. You know as well as I do that sometimes being a cop is 90% paperwork. I make out a report in duplicate. I file it in triplicate. I refile it in quadruplicate. I didn't create the system. I inherited the system. You think I want to do this 90% of the time? What about the other 10% of the time? What about Jesus Strzok? What about it? What do I do? Do I go up to him and arrest him because I think he's guilty? You know I don't work that way. I work by the rules and regulations, and there also happens to be a little thing called the U.S. Constitution. You don't seem to remember. These are the same rules you played by when you were a cop, my friend. Yeah, but Manny, I feel responsible for Jenny being in the hospital. Listen, Harry. Caesar's cocky now that we've got somebody nailed for killing O.Z. He thinks he's in the clear, and that's what I want. I want him to be cocky and feel good, because maybe he'll make a mistake then. And when he does, we got him. In the meantime, Harry, I wait, because my hands are tied, right? Manny? Why not? The underworld has a political structure a lot like the old feudal system. The dealers are the lords, they call the shots. But I couldn't talk to the dealer, not for what I wanted. It had to be a player. I'll take it. Hey, man. I heard you got pinched off. Yeah, that's right. So I know you didn't come here to shoot up room. Read the paper. Okay. Go ahead. I want something dropped on the street. And you wanted to get to somebody? Yeah, that's right. Okay, what's the message? Well, I want it known that I, uh, I've got an eyewitness. Somebody that was hanging around when O.Z. was dumped. I want him to know that I'm going to meet this witness tonight. Mm -hmm. At the scene of the crime. Oh, at the scene of the crime. Uh, don't let any of this get back to me, Harry. I don't even remember your name, Deke. Planted with the right people, it doesn't take long for word to get around on the street. And by now, Teaser Strzok had the word. I made the necessary phone call when I changed buses at Lincoln and Third. Excited conversation. They hung up. I'd like to speak to the manager. He's not here. He isn't. 
Where is it? Upstairs. Apartment 2E? How'd you know that? You just told me. Hey, Sully, take a trip upstairs and find out what that turkey is up to. Right. Don't use any hardware on him yet, either. You understand? Right. Right. You won't find it there. Find what? The shell case. What are you talking about, man? Well, it's a little round metal object, but like that, it's the other end of the bullet that killed those E. Williams. What do you want around here, man? I thought you knew the word John. I got a witness. Who, the blind kid? You. Me? You gotta be crazy. Take a look out the window. Go on, take a look. What do you see? Teaser struck. Yeah, Teaser thinks I have a witness. He thinks I'm coming to meet the witness here this evening. What's he going to think when he sees me with you? Well, I guess you can talk your way out of it. Maybe you can, maybe you can. You go along with me, I'll get you out of here if you talk to me. Look, you got to help me, man. Talk to me. Look, just get me out of this mess. Get me out of here. I'll talk. I'll get you out of here. Just stay away from the window. Talk to the manager's wife. Orwell's upstairs. Apartment 2E. And he's with the manager. Yeah. All right, well, let's go upstairs and straighten this little act out, then. Yeah, let me speak to Manny Quinlan. Quinlan here. I got a witness that knows how O.C. was killed, why he was killed, and who killed him. We're on our way. Well, don't you want the address? Quit fooling around, Harry. No, no sirens. I don't want anyone to get nervous. Harry. Huh? Hey, go back in your room, Garfield. Come on. Hey, Jesus, I didn't tell him. Please believe me. I didn't say nothing to nobody, man. This way, Harry. Do you have a gun? A 
no. Why don't you have a gun, Harry? Garfield. Okay, Harry? Yeah. Is it over, Harry? It's over, Garfield. Thanks. It's okay. Call me anytime. I'm available. for your head, Harry. Well, I gotta run. Don't keep in touch. Keep in touch, Shirley. Maybe Shirley was right. Banging away on things didn't help much. It sure didn't help Teaser Strzok. But then it did help James Drew. He got out of jail, and maybe he'll stay out. And maybe it helped Jenny and Garfield. They were going to try a new start in a new place, and maybe it helped me. I was making progress. I wasn't exactly ready for sailing, but I don't like to rush things. I'll go sailing tomorrow. 